Everybody, what is up and welcome to Rock Gamer. And this seems to happen every time I put a weekly recap. Another big news story breaks about Rock Band 4 and just hours after I put up my weekly recap for this week, we had a new frequently asked questions list go up on Rock Band's uh, forum website. And let's get to some of the big news items that came out from there today. Well, the first piece of news that a lot of people who own the Ion drum kit and other drum kits that are MIDI compatible were dreading has been confirmed today. So if you own the Ion drum kit or any other MIDI drum kits, they will not be compatible at launch with Rock Band 4. They've made it clear that their priority is to support the legacy instruments, all of which will be compatible. If you guys want to see the Ion Drum Rocker compatible in Rock Band 4, you need to let Ion Audio know by contacting them. I've put the link in the description below. And they know that a lot of people use these peripherals and they're actively working on finding a solution to this compatibility issue. I think you're going to see somebody come up with a homebrew solution that'll fix this. And I think it'll hopefully alleviate a lot of the concerns about not being able to use your own electronic drum kit in the game. The other thing they confirmed is that any hardware peripheral that is not manufactured by Rock Band will be compatible with Rock Band 4 provided it is wireless. So if you have a wireless Guitar Hero controller, it should work just fine in Rock Band 4. The other question they answered is if you're playing with a controller that only has five buttons on the guitar instead of 10, how is the freestyle solo mode going to work? Well, you will still be able to do the freestyle solo mode, but the number of sounds you'll be able to create will be limited. However, you'll still be scored the same way as somebody who has 10 buttons, so you won't be penalized for using a, a guitar with five buttons on it. Now, the big thing regarding multiplayer, they've said no, there will not be any multiplayer at launch. Largely due to the fact because of the survey that they did showed that about 10% of people play online, which is a really small number. But they did say that while they're not supporting online play right now, Rock Band 4 will support some compelling new online functionality. They said they're still designing, implementing, and testing these features, and they'll have more information about it in September. So I'm really interested to know what that is. Somebody on Reddit thought that the new online functionality will be something along the lines of notifying you when a friend has achieved a high score in a song, and the game sending you a prompt to challenge your friend and beat their score and vice versa. I think that's very highly plausible. The other thing they addressed was pre-ordering the standalone game. So you will be able to pre-order the standalone game later this summer through Sony and Microsoft. So make sure you guys stay tuned to that. I've noticed on GameStop's Canadian website, you can pre-order this just the standalone game. It's listed as $74.99 Canadian, which is quite expensive if you ask me. The other thing they also addressed was standalone instruments. So there will not be standalone instruments at launch, but as we learned at E3, Harmonix is planning on selling standalone instruments uh, in early 2016 or so. They also confirmed that colored instruments, the ones that we saw like the early prototypes, will not be sold in retail. Those were just prototypes and there will only be one or two different colors of instruments you can actually purchase. That does it for the majority of the news that showed up in the Frequently Asked Questions. If you guys want to read the Frequently Asked Questions, click the description below. It's all there. And if you guys want to stay up to date on all things Rock Band 4, Guitar Hero Live, and Amplitude related, be sure to click the subscribe button. Take care.